right, who's hungry? I know the gig master's hungry, and we got a special treat today. We're gonna cook a chuck roast, but we're gonna do a little something special with it. We're gonna weave some bacon on it and get it prepared in just a minute. Stay tuned. All right, one of the first chores we gotta do is get the Traeger grill going. I love my Traeger grill. Check it out, we just set it down here, set it on smoke, get it going. The pellets slowly drop into the thing and it ignites them and they start smoking. And once it gets started here, we'll crank up probably about in between 275 and 300, probably about 280, 285, something like that to get this thing going. I'm not sure how long it's going to take yet, but we're going to keep an eye on the temperature and the meat too. All right, let's keep going. Everybody ready for this? We're going to weave some bacon on top of this chuck roast. We're going to give it some nice flavor because this is actually hickory smoke flavor and we're actually hickory smoking in the Traeger grill. But, we're gonna also throw a little bit of salt and pepper on here before we do that. So let's get a little, a little bit of that and get started right now. All right, we're gonna a little salt. Sprinkle a little salt on it. And we're gonna do some pepper. Fresh ground pepper. All right, looking good, I like it. I'm getting hungry already. All right, here we go, we're gonna do that now. All right, got some nice pepper and salt seasoning on it now. Excellent. So now we're gonna weave the bacon on here. Right. What y'all think? I think it looks good. Let's get it ready to go in. Do a little, got a little tucking, and nip and tucking here, but we'll be done with that in just a minute. All right, gotta take one more picture. This is so pretty before we put it on. I know not look good. That bacon's gonna help hold that moisture in there and give it some flavor. I think we're gonna do good. All right, let's get on the grill. All right, check it out. It's looking good on the grill. Got some onions in the back. Got a bacon weed chuck roast right here, ready to go. All right, let's give it some time now. Here we go. All right, y'all ready to check in on this bacon weed chuck roast. Let's check it out. Oh man, that's looking good. Got some nice smoke coming out of there. Ooh, it's looking good. Weave is doing real well. Nice and moist. Very moist all over it. That bacon should help keep that moisture in there too. Alright, looking good to me. It might be a little while longer though. Stay tuned. Alright, after cooking that meat at about 280 in that range for about six hours. We got it done. The internal temperature is now up to right at 200. It's a little higher than what we probably should get it because now it's going to be falling apart, but that'd be good. Chuck roast is good either way, I'm going to tell you. But check it out. Isn't it beautiful? That thing turned out beautiful. Nice woven there, but let me see how it's going to cut. I got to do this one hand, so y'all be careful. Y'all have to put up with me holding this with one hand to do it here. All right. That's looking good so far. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, juice, look how juicy it is. Look at that. Oh yeah, she's still nice and juicy. I think that bacon kind of helped it keep it nice and juicy. Let's see if we can cut a little piece off here, maybe. Ah, I know I got it all cut in a piece here, but I gotta get me a piece out of there. Oh my God. It's better than I thought it would be. It's very, very good. Let's slice it up a little bit and get it ready to eat. And we'll show it to you in just a second. Oh man, it's good. All right, I was really impressed with how it sliced up. I wasn't sure what the temperature of being that high. It might just fall to pieces, but it didn't. It sliced perfect, and the meat is just tender. This comes right apart. Look at that. It's like, like tenderloin. Excellent. Very good. And the flavor is excellent. Still very, very, very um, moist. And the bacon has actually added some flavor and that smoke flavor into it. I tell you, I'm very satisfied with the way this steak, this uh, chuck roast came out. I'm so satisfied, I'm eating it while I'm talking to you, okay? All right, appreciate everybody coming along. Uh, please click like, comment below, share. Subscribe to the Geek Master, and come on over and get some chuck roast. All right, see you on the next adventure.